What's happening? What's going on? This is a little bit wobbly. Um, all right, I'm coming to you live here from St. Anton in Austria. My name is Johanna Hunt. If we've never met before, and this is the first time watching my broadcast, welcome. Um, tonight, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my method of operation for running my social marketing business. And I find this is probably one of the most challenging things when you're getting started in a home business, where even if you've been in a home business, but you're not sure what to do online in order to be earning 100% online. And so I wanted to create a quick video to tell you, I've done something like this before, um, but I wanted to share what's working really well right now. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited to dive in. So if it's your first time to the broadcast, drop in the comments, let me know where you're tuning in from. If you're watching the replay, drop the word replay. This is a really great um, video to share. If you know people who are building a home business or you and your team aren't sure what it is you should be doing every day, um, definitely share this training with them. Drop the word share below so I can give you a shout out too. I feel like I'm a little bit crooked tonight. <laughs> um, so I'm doing this a little bit later today than normal. I've been home with my girls all day today, um, sort of weaving my business in and out. And so here's what I'm going to tell you is that sometimes our business doesn't look the same every single day, right? If we are juggling, a, a maybe we have a full-time job or maybe you uh, have another business or maybe you have kids and you're a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home parent, the day is going to look different. But it's about what you're doing every day. And I try to do these things in an order because here's what I've learned is that habits are a lot easier to implement every single day than when you have to operate on sheer willpower. And there's actually some great books. If you're, if you're struggling with creating some healthy habits for your business or for anything really, and you want to make it easier, like think about how, think about the habits that you have right now every single day and you're waking up and you're doing the same things in a pattern every single day. So when you start a business, just like when you start a new fitness program or a new diet or anything like that, you need to adjust your schedule and you need to work that habit in. It usually takes 30 days of being consistent to really start to see a change in that. So. Um, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of how I start my day every single day, regardless. I feel like I'm a bit pale here. Hey, Mama. Ah, nice to see you. Hold on. Let me just. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> a little washed out there with my lighting. Okay, so every single day that I wake up, it 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 doesn't matter if it's the same time of day. It doesn't matter. What is, what is going on? I start with my five minute journal and I actually have my apps all in a row on my phone of how I want to start my day. I'm actually going to be moving to pen and paper with some of these things soon because I find I'm, I am on my phone a lot more than I used to be because I'm using so many apps and I'm kind of missing that pen and paper and just like free flowing. But I start my day every day with my five minute journal. Roz, nice to see you right on. Welcome. And, um, so the five minute journal walks through the gratitude, affirmations, setting the intention for the day, the three things that I want to focus on for the day. Um, you know, those always look different. That's not my to-do list. It's what do I want to focus on? And I'm setting those intentions, then I'm writing my affirmation out. So I'm talking to myself every single day. Those are the first things I do. And then I jump into reading. And usually I'll do this before I get out of bed. I take my Kindle, I grab my coffee, I sit down and I read for at least 30 minutes. If I feel inspired and I'm just really loving what I'm reading, I might go longer. I jump into breakfast and then I get ready for my day. So sometimes I'm able to jump right from there into work. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes the kids are home or maybe our house is a mess and I just can't think clearly or I need to get out and do some exercise. You know, the days always look a little bit different, but it's about making sure the things that need to get done are getting done, right? And I think that you know, I have small children. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have kids. If you have kids, drop the number down below. Let me know how old they are. <laughs> don't mom, don't don't put in the comments how old I am. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And um, so, you know, it's always an adjustment. So then the next thing I do, regardless of the time, when I'm getting back into my work mode, I watch a training. And um, this could be, usually I'm doing this on a skill set because I've already covered my mindset. But I'm doing 30 minutes a day of mindset training and I'm doing 30 minutes a day of skill set training, right? Because you can't have one without the other, right? I, 
I think your business can only really grow as big as you are al allowing yourself to grow. And then once I've done that, I create content for the day. So sometimes I have already scheduled out my content. Um, it depends on how organized I've been, but I'm creating one new piece of content every day to put inside of my my funnel of, of content that's going out on social media. And usually the content I'm creating is either a blog post, um, a live video. Right now I'm doing a 30 day live video challenge with five other women on my team. And so the focus has really been on live video, but really it's about creating something that you're putting out there of value every single day and that builds over time like really, really well. And you start to notice that instead of being that person who's out there chasing after other people, people start to build a relationship with you. They start to build trust and they start to come after you and they want to know more about you and what it is you're doing. And that's a really spot, sweet spot to be at. The other thing about creating this content is that once you've created it, you have a resource, right? And so when somebody asks me a really great question and I get the same questions a lot because every person is starting at a new place, I'm able to refer them to that resource. It saves me a ton of time. Could you imagine if that video that I spent five minutes you know, making or 10 minutes making, uh, that allows me to send that out to people who need that information over and over and over again. I'm saving myself a lot of time. So that's time leverage at its best right there. So create a one new piece of content every day. That could take me 15 minutes. Maybe it takes me 30 minutes. Um, usually not more than that for one piece of content. And, and the thing is, it's like creating content is like a muscle. It gets easier the more you work that muscle. You start to get into a habit of it and it's actually really fun. <laughs> um, okay, and then after that I focus on connections. And so a, a good rule of thumb if, if you're doing this business full time is to be connecting with 20 people a day. Now I have a formula that I use, this is something our team uses um, to really stay consistent and that's uh, meeting five new people a day. That's um, connecting and exposing five new people a day to what it is we're doing. We use groups for that. So I don't do any presentations or anything like that like I used to. But if you do presentations, you need to carve out the time in order to make that happen. And then uh, I'm following up with three people. So three people who've already been inside of the presentations. They've already checked things out. Maybe it's a new client who needs some help. Um, so those are my daily methods of operation, you guys. And then... There's a couple of other things I do because I've started, I've built quite a bit of a team over the last few months. I'm connecting with my team on a daily basis. I'm checking my messages, making sure that, you know, anybody who needs my help is getting my help. Um, you know, I'm going to check in every single day into our Facebook groups and see how I can contribute in there. But you're, you're, Daily method of operation changes as your business grows, right? And so if you're just getting started, it's really about creating that content, making those connections, working on your skill set, working on your mindset. And those skill set and mindset things aren't something that ever change. Like if you want to be a strong leader, if you want to grow a big business, you need to be continually growing yourself through that. So, okay, you guys, so I've got a couple of things I want to give away um, and then I'm going to head off. But if you are... If you're feeling like you're doing presentations and you're looking for a way to leverage your time on Facebook and you want to create some groups um, to in order to do that, I can send you a freebie that I've got that is going to help you set up those groups um, so you can have a place where you can bring people to. And then the other thing I've got is my daily checklist. So if you want to duplicate what I'm doing every single day on social media, um, and you want to be able to easily tick it off, just drop the word checklist or drop the word group below. I'll make sure you get those free resources. And if you feel like you need some help with creating some habits, um, there's a couple of books I know for creating habits um, and how to create that compound effect in your business and your day-to-day -day life. And so I'm happy to share those with you too. So lots of good freebies, lots of good things I'm giving away. And uh, that's it, you guys, for today. Thank you for tuning in. I am so grateful to have you here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.